Hello everyone, and welcome to the Quantpedia Explains Trading Strategies video series. Today, we will speak about how to improve post-earnings announcement drift with NLP analysis. Hello everyone, my name is Radan Vojtko and I'm CEO of Quantpedia. Today we will discuss earnings announcement trading strategies. Currently it's autumn uh, 2022 and a few days ago there were some announcements from the big tech companies like Meta, Google or Microsoft and their stocks very strongly felt after the earnings announcement because it was disappointing. And during the other times there are other companies and their stocks usually go very strongly up after the positive announcement. As we see, the announcement can try to uh, build a trading strategy uh, out of it. There are a lot of papers uh, and a lot of strategies that are related to earnings announcement because the stocks move so much during this period. One of the most common trading strategy or one of the cornerstone trading strategies called the post earnings announcement drift. This post earnings announcement drift trading strategy says that it makes sense to buy stocks for long after there is significant positive surprise in earnings announcement or during the earnings announcement period and it makes sense to go short stocks that had significantly negative earnings announcement surprise. That's the post earnings announcement effect and it's based only on the fundamental data, so only on the data that the company shows and announces what is the company's income, what are the sales, etc. etc. Those data are relatively known, they are easy to analyze, etc. Et Research also shows that the main performance contributor are small capitalization stocks because they are not so effective. But also the strategy, most of the returns for the strategy comes from the long side. We can try to improve this post and risk announcement drift by using alternative data set, also built on earnings announcement data, but those data are not so easily available and therefore the strategy has a better performance and better contract ratio. How we can improve the post earnings announcement drift? We can improve it by using the NLP analysis. What is the NLP? So NLP is a natural means, natural language processing. It's a branch of linguistic, computer science and artificial intelligence that's connected to human language. How to program computers? will process and analyze large amounts of natural language data. So in our case, those data are earnings transcripts. So we are not just using the information about the earnings announcement data that are showed by companies. So it means what were the earnings, what was the income, what were the sales, etc. But we are trying to use the computers to understand the text and the spoken words during the earnings call. The approach is inspired by a paper, so PhD takes that post earnings announcement drift using the text. We are using the different data set. We are using the brain language metrics on earning calls transcript data set. It's an alternative data set from a company brain. What is the company doing? They are using the machine learning model to read the earning call transcripts for each stock. They use the categorization for each earning call transcript and we can access this data. So how does that categorization look like? They use different language metrics for most recent earning calls. It can be a financial sentiment. So what was the sentiment of the call based from what was set on the call. So not what were the actual numbers, but what the CEO or CFO said on the earning call. Then they are calculating what is the percentage of the words that belong to different domains, past kind of language types, if the language was constraining, if the language was litigious, uncertain, what is the readability of the earning call transcript. And there are small lexical metrics as, as lexical density, richness of the text, etc. etc. So there are a lot of metrics how we can categorize the each earning call for each company. And then what we can do. Investing universe in our strategy is composed of 500 most liquid stocks. It means that the strategy that we build out of that data set is highly liquid because it's built on 500 most liquid stocks. So there are no small caps or stuff like that. And we calculate sentiment surprise as a difference between the most recent sentiment score for each earnings call and the sentiment measure during the previous eight quarters from the management discussion. What does it mean is that we are using the sentiment score. We are uh, trying to measure uh, whether their earnings call was uh, positively word or there were a lot of positive words or a lot of the negative words in the earnings call and then we are building our uh, trading strategy based on that. We build a trading strategy. The first version of the trading strategy uses eight quarters of the management discussion session uh, and we compare the uh, recent sentiment to the average over the last eight quarters. We hold the portfolio of the stocks for 12 week period and we buy the stocks that has the best sentiment score and we short the uh, stocks with the worst sentiment score. So we are buying the first quintal and we are shorting uh, the last quintal of the stocks. The results are interesting, but we can even improve this trading strategy. So we did the robustness test. We sorted the data not into quartals, but also into tertials, median, quintals, 
that you etc we try to calculate the sentiment surprise by using the different periods so uh, instead of eight quarters we use 12 quarters four quarters or 20 quarters etc and we try to increase or decrease the, the holding period of the stock what is the result for all of the other tests short result from all the, all of the tests is that no better which variant of rules we use the strategy is always positive or has always positive performance so that's very good result so it means that there is a lot of hidden alpha or a lot of uh, hidden signal that's in a data set so it means we can easily use this data set and improve the process learning investment rate the final strategy sorts stocks into tertials so it means we use the strategy that has more diversification in the portfolio because we have more stocks we use the shorter holding period so we hold the stocks just for one month catch the main phase of the pool learning announcement drift and we use longer periods so 12 quarters of data that we take into account for the calculation of the earnings surprise. So we calculate the average of the sentiment over the 12 quarters, and then we compare it to the current quarter, current sentiment on the earnings call, and we go along the stocks with the biggest surprise in the sentiment of the earnings call. It means uh, how many positive words were said during the call. Uh, the resultant long short rate strategy has around 6% uh, performance with a sharp ratio of 0.76, which is really well a result for a strategy that's trading really the most liquid stocks on the US market. Thank you very much for your attention. I hope that you liked this short video about uh, post announcement read. If you are interested, I really recommend you to look out more and read more about post announcement read or about how you can use natural language processing to process earnings call transcripts and to improve the basic post announcement read strategy. And I hope that you will join me in the next video. Interested? Then pick another video to learn more or subscribe to Quantpedia Pro and try how our analytics and reporting significantly save time spent on quantitative research.